Okay, guys, I've noticed here at the Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois, they have a slew of these Mercedes Roadsters. Yeah, I remember when people were buying these things, and you had to be either a lawyer or a doctor at the time, back in the 80s, to buy these cars. These were some nice ones. And as you can look at this one, we're going to take a walk around of it. As I said, they got a slew of them. And I think I want to show them as much as possible because the mainly all of them are having v8 motors in here see and i didn't realize i thought these things were more so six cylinders and diesels you know but if it's got a v8 motor that means this thing has some power and torque and it was pretty fast you know i never really got to see many of them i mean i saw them but it was only when i went to chicago I was downtown Chicago and I would see these cars and they look pretty nice. You know, I never thought I would get one, but right now, even though this is a used Mercedes, as we look into the driver's side, you see a little wear on the, the seat, but it doesn't have back seats. You know, it's just an open space for the convertible top. And I think these were partly convertible and removable tops. And as we look inside, you know, this has a real nice look to it. You got it up, a speedometer up to 160. And Mercedes Benz is, yeah, they were built for power and speed, but not like you thought. You know, they were excellent riding German cars. My father happened to own one. And when I took his for a spin, yeah, his was a 5.0. It was fuel injected for a 73. And that thing could fly, you know. And if I'm not mistaken, Mercedes-Benz were the first to use fuel injection. Now, I thought it was Tucker, but Mercedes-Benz had started it, and Tucker used it. And then, um, you know, the rest is history. Everybody got it. Well, we're going to look at this information board. As you can see, you see the price, and it says 87 Mercedes-Benz. It's got a 5.6 V8 automatic silver on tan you see the mileage on here is well over 128,000. and see that's what i'm saying for the price this is why you're finding these cars here now they've been used cars but they're still good cars and this is just the first one and we're going to try to track down the rest of them and we're going to have some fun with this be right back okay guys we found another one here it's an 82 with another v8 as you can see it's in very lovely condition and um, if they weren't in great condition, they wouldn't make it here to Gateway Classic Cars, all right? So when we look at this information board here, it has it as a Mercedes-Benz, true enough, V8 motor, automatic, champagne, metallic color on 10. And you see the mileage, 104000 And you see the price. Sold as is, you know. So as I'm saying, we're going to be looking at some of these, some more of these. They are really in pretty nice condition. For a car that's got that type of mileage and is that old and is german made now it has does it have its wear and tear take a look down there yeah you see that's wear and tear on wood but that's actual wood in there isn't that something it's a car with actual wood in it you know as you look the dashboard and everything looks great headroom headliner it's actual there's space back there so if this was a removable top or you just wanted to throw something in there you could since that's the passenger side we're looking at these true mercedes-benz rims here i mean this car is really nice coming back out you know there's nothing that i see is out of line and it's a 380 sl you had those old school bumpers or at least those 80s bumpers on these things, you know. But these cars are really nice, you know. As we go into the driver's side, driver's side seat is really in great condition. It has its wear and tear true enough. Hey, look, I found two speakers back there. See that? You know, so somebody was thinking ahead just to drop some speakers back there just for the fun of it, you know. But as we look at the dash and the driver's side, you know, it's that true European feel. You know, true European feel on this car. And this thing is really nice. You know, doesn't have a sunroof. 
but it's an excellent looking car. Maybe you'd buy it and drive it on the weekend. You know, can't beat that. Let's take a look at another one. Okay, guys, here we're looking at a silver metallic with a V8. And this one here is actually a 78 model. And it looks just like some of the other ones we're gonna find here on this video. But this thing is pretty clean. And uh, right away, let's look at the information board. Now, all of these are sold as is. You know, that's all the cars here, Gateway Classics. But this one's a 78 V8 silver metallic with silver on black. You see, this thing has actual lower miles for 73,000 miles at that price. Okay, guys, going to the passenger side, as we look in here, dashboard is looking really nice. Oh, man, this carpet is clean in there, man. This, for the passenger side, this is pretty clean. You know, we're looking at that dash, looking at the center console. This car is a nice looking car here. And uh, these seats are pretty nice. They're supposed to be silver on black. And you have that open space back there, the traditional open space, you know. This isn't a removable top, so these rims are a little bit 78 Mercedes style. So we're gonna wrap it around the back here. And this turns out to be a decent car. You know, I don't see anything wrong with it. If it was, I would say something, believe you me. You know, because when you come to pay money for a car, if you're looking for a junk car, you ain't gonna come to Gateway Classic Cars. If you're looking for something to invest in that's nice and that you can have some fun with it without it breaking down on you, then you come to Gateway Classic Cars. You're spending that type of money, you expect quality. Look at this driver's side seat. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. You know. We're going to take a look in the inside here. And as a look, instrumentation, speedometer, 160. Everything in here is nice, guys. It's real nice in here. We're going to bring it back out. Looking at this driver's side door. Nice rims. I don't see any scratches. I don't see any dents. So these Mercedes, turns out they were well-liked, well-loved cars by people. I would say more so middle class and upper class. But these were kind of like icons here in America. So people who had them, they took care of them. You spending that type of money? Well, yeah, because this is your baby. Let's look at another. Okay, guys, now here's an 85, and this thing has a smaller V8, 3.8 liter V8, as a champagne color on Sierra interior, but this has the two options. Convertible top, take that off, hard top in the back. And we're gonna look at it, and um, we're gonna do the information board first, so you guys get a good feel of the car. You see the price. 85 Mercedes-Benz, 3.8 V8, automatic champagne metallics. Sienna, is that Sienna? Sienna, I said Sierra, but that's Sienna. 72,000 miles, you know. As we look at this, we're going through the passenger side. That's a nice color on here. It looks like just a, a chocolate brown, I would say, and it's, and it's nice, you know. Haven't really done too many brown color cars, but this thing is pretty clean in here. As we look at the center console, and this is it's really nice instrumentation in here for 85. I'm pretty sure would it be a Mercedes, they were already ahead of the game. So they put some of the best quality things in here. As we look at this top, you know, you used to see these things all crackled. And I say that because people didn't take care of them. They had them on during the winter time and driving car in the winter time that's what messed them up but this one here is pretty clean <clears throat> unless it's a new top and you're looking at these rims on here on this car you know 
but this thing is real nice. And then you look at the um, the top and the stand that comes with it. Sharp. I have nothing else to say, but this is a immaculate car for the year that it says. And we're going to look into the driver's side. You can see some of the space back there. Everything with this car turns out to be pretty good. Buck 60 on the dash, on the speedometer, I should say. No, I don't see anything wrong with this. This is a nice car. And I have to give it up to Mercedes-Benz for building these cars because Mercedes was always ahead of the game. It was ahead of the game and people knew it. That's why when they came over here in America, they didn't know it was going to make sales because they were already on the top of the branch with Rolls-Royce Bentley and they took over with Packard left off that huge market that Packard used to have. So... Let's look at another Mercedes. Okay, guys, now this one here is really nice. I like this one the most. It's a beautiful color on here. It comes with those nice rims, those nice Mercedes rims, and it's got the chrome trim. This thing is a beautiful car, and uh, I love the paint. We're gonna look at it right now. The information board gives you the tail. Mercedes-Benz 86. It's a V8, four-speed automatic with the Cabernet red, and uh, Palinum, Palinum, Palinimo, <laughs> Palomino, whatever. Ah, uh, whatever. As is, we're gonna call it Camel. And this thing is lovely on the inside. And I believe that's a back visor for the heat, the sunlight, because I don't think, looking down in there, I don't think it's a convertible. But this thing has some lovely, lovely interior. The headliner is great. Looking in here, the dashboard is exceptional. Carpet looks really nice. Center dash is excellent. The same as the, uh, the shift of the console. Coming back out. We're going to go around back. These here roasters were really nice. They were solidly built. And then packing V8s, you saw these in video games, all kinds of movies. And the thing about it, you had a variety of them, you know. And Mercedes-Benz built these things so well that they last like this, because this, the, for the ones we've seen, even with the mileage on them, these things were excellent condition. You know, nothing to complain about. We come into the driver's side. We take a good look in here. And take a good look at it. This one here is saying 160 on the speedometer. This thing even smells good, man. Leaning my head in here, this car smells excellent. You know? Wow. This thing here is really nice. You know? But the thing about it, Mercedes built even better ones after these models. Let's take a look. Okay, now here's where we graduated from the older ones from the 80s into a 90 model, a 90 Roadster Mercedes, and this is a convertible. And it's, I will say these were more of a lighter gauge steel for the hood and the fenders going to the back of the car, you know. And the other ones were more of a heavier gauge. But these Mercedes are lighter. And this one has an inline six cylinder, so you lose the V8. Uh, the rims on here are nice. And we'll look at the information board. As you can see, it says the 
price is right there. 95 Mercedes Benz, inline six, automatic, black on black, and you see the mileage. And for the mileage that's on here for 96, for that price, this car is not really bad. Like I said, if it was here at Gateway Classic Cars, they'd have checked it out thoroughly. And if it was anything wrong with this car, it wouldn't be here. They would have shipped it out a while ago. And this car has been here for some time. And the funny thing about it is, every one of these rows has got this open space back there for small packages and whatnot. Or if you don't like a kid, just throw them back there. <laughs> you know, but the carpet in here is nice. Console, dashboard is nice. It's convertible for you convertible freaks. And the seats look really nice, you know. And so your gas door is right there. And you come back, it has that square back end right here, square, you know. And it was always an excellent look, quality look. It's a Mercedes, you know. But the thing about this, these cars are now, what you could say on the rare side, even though you got the high mileage on it and whatnot, you probably won't see none of these roasters out on the road until the summertime. You won't see them in the wintertime no more. So that means their cars are being collected. As we look, a buck 60 on there, 160 on this speedometer with the tack. You know, you're not gonna find, even, even got a cigarette lighter. An ashtray, <laughs> you know. And then there was always this bar that went over the top, you know, for the convertible top. I can't find nothing to complain about with this car, but this thing is nice, really nice. Front brakes. You also get a Carfax, you know, if there's ever an accident, but I doubt it with this thing. Yeah, this is a nice Mercedes-Benz, but they all were for the time that they were made. All Mercedes-Benz roasters. Well, giving it up for Mercedes, y'all. Later.